guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, and I'm going to be going on a boat with my two sisters, Leslie and Lisette, and it's the spirit of Philadelphia. I'm sure if, you've, if you're from Philly or familiar with Philadelphia, then you know that they have a boat that goes onto the Delaware River, because it's from 11.30 to 1, which is like a short period of time, but I think the entire time you're just like eating food and then like going around on the boat and going up stairs and there's like activities and stuff so it's really fun and i'm going to be vlogging actually there so i'm just going to be doing the get ready with me first and you're going to see my outfit when we get onto the boat and then i'll be vlogging there too so you'll see that upload later so right now i'm just trying to figure out what i want to do with my life i already did my eyebrows because my eyebrows literally take forever to do and now i'm just going to be doing my eyes which i really don't even know what i want to do with them I'm just gonna be taking my la girl pro concealer this is the shade font and I'm going to be using this as my primer for my eyeshadow that I'm going to be putting on um yeah I'm a little nervous because I haven't put on eyeshadow or like really attempted to try looking cute with eyeshadow in so long so I don't know how this will go oh, here's my beauty blender and I'm just going to be um rubbing out or blending in the concealer next I'm going to be taking my Sacha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to put this all over my eyes to set the concealer. I'm going to be taking this big brush to do that. So it just like goes all over my eyelid. Yep, I hope my makeup does last. Now for the eyeshadow. We all know what comes first, the transition shade. I'm going to be taking Milk Chocolate right here from my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade. I also don't know if I want to put on lashes or not. Like this is a very like important thing to decide and since you want to keep your brushes clean I'm gonna use a different crease brush where's another crease brush okay we'll use this I don't know how I feel about this though we're gonna be using this brush and I'm gonna be taking gloss right here and I'm gonna be putting that in my crease I always make sure to tap off the access because that really like gets annoying I'm not gonna lie it it's, that's really annoying I really hope this eye look comes out fine. For my Like a Boss palette, I'm going to be using Work right here. It's like a pinky because I'm trying to go off my shirt. And it like has these cute little, oh my god, my battery's dying. It has like these cute flowers. I feel so sick. No lie. I'm going to feel so sick about it. I'm like, oh my god. Why is my battery dying? This is the Kylie Burgundy palette and it's the shade, this is on the right side. Dubai. I'm going to be taking this color and putting it over the color that I just did because that actually looks really freaking cute. So I'll use this brush and I'll put that pretty glittery purple shade on top. I'm just going to like dust it almost. Oh, that looks cool. Wow. I kind of feel like I should like leave it off here, maybe do like a little bit more transition shade and call it a day. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Oh, this is looking great. I'm just going to do my brow bone now because I literally always forget to do my brow bone. And I always take an angled eyeshadow brush. And the color that I'm going to be taking, oh, salted caramel. I remember using that before. I'm going to take Salted Caramel from the Chocolate Bar palette. I forgot what it was for a second. And put that on my brow bone. We got technical difficulties, which I can use as an excuse to do other things when my battery charges. So give me a second. Yeah, go into my mascara. This is the They're Real by Benefit. And I kind of don't like it because I don't like wet consistencies. But the mascara I have is almost gone. Because I swear by L'Oreal Telescopic. So, as you can see, I put on these fake eyelashes. And I don't really know how I'm feeling because I had to cut this one short. And this one is like the full one. So I don't know if it like looks right. But we're just going to deal with it for right now. So now I'm just going to be priming my face with the Fenty Beauty Primer. And I'm not putting foundation on just because I've said before. At least I think I've said before. That I don't... I like to put on foundation. Now we're going to conceal. And I'm going to be using my... Wow, that was unnecessary. I'm going to be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this is in Hazelnut. I don't know why I haven't had this memorized yet. 
I'll help you once I'm done with it. I just need to finish my makeup. Ow, that kind of hurt. That one. And then I'm going to be taking that same LA Girl concealer and put it under my eyes. I'm just taking this brush and I'm just blending out my concealer, the dark one first. And now under my eyes with my beauty blender. You can see everything on the camera, but it looks way better in person. Now I'm going to have to use the same beauty blender because my other one isn't clean yet. I'm going to have to use that same Sacha Buttercup setting powder to set under my eyes and my nose. I'm going to do my blush, or no, we're going to contour first. I'm going to contour. We're with what I always do, my angled brush. See, they look so clean now. Like, they look the, they look bomb. And I'm going to be using my Black Radiance Pressed Powder. And, oh, this is my darker one. This is Ebony. I think I need my mahogany one. Here's what it looks like. Mmm. Because I got a fat face. going to brush away with this brush brush away the under eye I don't need to leave it on that long just while I do that for the blush and then, do I want to do this I think I do. It doesn't really show up like that anyways this is the color pop never been kissed super shock cheek we're almost done y'all we're almost done okay now I'm going to be using my highlight, my favorite highlight of all time, Churro from ColourPop. Super shocked cheek. Get it now. If it, I, hopefully it's still there. But I use this like all the time. This is like my favorite. So I use like a foundation brush, but it's like it's like fluffy. And I use this to apply my highlight. Back in business. So I already did my highlight because my car wanted to be full and then I made it unfull. So yeah, did my highlight. You can pretend that I'm doing it now. Yes, just did my highlight. I'm taking a fluffier brush. Probably not a smart idea, but we're rolling with it. And I'm just going to contour my nose. And then I'm just going to highlight a little bit on my nose. I'm going to take the same highlight and put it in my inner corner and then put a little bit on my brow bone. I'm going to use like this little pencil brush thing. I'm using my finger. I don't have time. I'm going to take whatever's on this brush and then combine it with Boss because I use that in my crease and then put that on my lower lash line. Now we're going to do the lower lash line. Taking my soft matte lip cream from NYX in Berlin, putting this all over my lips. And then taking, I think this is Abu Dhabi. Hey, look at me, I remember the shade. And this is what's gonna be on like the inner parts of my lips almost. To lighten this bitch up. Put decay all night spray and spray my face. Give me a second. Oh. This is the makeup look. Mm. Pose, pose. Oh. Okay, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy watching me get ready. And now you're going to see my outfit. Okay, see you soon.